What do you think's gonna happen? Now, you've been asked this question. I'm sure you knew that I was, would, might possibly bring it up tonight. Uh, there's an election coming up. You, uh, you're out of politics now, but you, you're speaking, and as I say, you're going around the country. Um, do you envision a possibility, uh, say, in 76, if the convention, say, was deadlocked? I'm giving you all the theories and so forth, and the conservatives took over, possibly, and got control of the, uh, of the electoral process, and they couldn't quite make a decision, and they came to you and said, uh, Governor Reagan, uh, we can't decide between Mr. Ford and Mr. Rockefeller. We're divided. Uh, would you like to uh, would you like to go to the White House? Uh, you remember that answer I gave you about the CIA? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. No, no, I won't buy that. I'm not going to buy that. No, I, I can understand the yeah. CIA. No, I but... Uh, no, I... I just, thought that was delicately phrased. I, yes. <laughs> verbose but delicate. Yeah, verbose but delicate. <laughs> I... Uh, no, I think it's an unanswerable question. I don't think anyone in view of the things that have gone on the last few years knows what's going to happen in the in the next two years mm -hmm. down the road. I think that everyone should hope and pray that people are there will do the job so well that there won't be any question mm -hmm. about it. Because if they do, then everything's all right with the rest of us. Mm -hmm. uh, you think they're doing their job well? Well, I agree with some things and disagree with others. <laughs> when, they, when, they give me a, when they give me a choice between a $53 billion deficit in the budget and an $80 billion deficit, when budget deficits are what's causing inflation, I don't see that there's any room to be on either side of that argument. Yeah, I think the years. answer to curing inflation is a balanced budget. Now, how do you do that? I mean, well, it's not, how do you balance the budget? Well, balancing the budget is like protecting your virtue. You don't spend virtue. more than you take in, right? Yeah, it's like protecting your virtue. You have to learn to say no. 